time you gotta do something different than what you normally do. Uh, so you put A to C. One. Podium B. We won the podium B. Now let's take some video of the podium vehicle. I have to say, looking at this, I'm not tempted to change the look at all. Just do the standard performance stuff and roll with it. I think my only coil is on the other character, so this is nice. My only cyclone that is. It's the Rimac. That's how I actually think about it. So. I know it just had the words on the screen, but that doesn't matter. And there you go, just light smoke on the windows, bulletproof tires, all the, the performance upgrades. Had to add a spoiler, added that one. That's probably the most subtle change to the, to the look of the car that I could do there, because you have to have a spoiler. And uh, some crew lights for the ground effect, just so you can get that slightly lowered center of gravity. Very nice. And of course, we need to see. Will it go up and down and around Mount Chiliad? Duh. How's this series working out for you guys? I don't know. Still, really. Don't know the, the proper place to jump off from there, but apparently that was good enough. Especially with this camera view, it seems real low. We're gonna back it up a little bit. Could be just how low the car is. This is really skittish. It's skittish and wide, and I see it launching itself into a river. I don't know, did they change any of the flags on this one? I, I don't think so. I don't remember my other one being like this skittish, but then again, I didn't really drive it all that much off of a track. I'm quite fond of the Cyclone, but it is kind of a one-trick pony. It's all acceleration. Now that... Bang. Okay. Okay, let's... Come on. I do not believe this is four-wheel drive, either. So what? Uh, and is it? Maybe. The real one might be. The real one, I think, might be like a four-motor kind of thing. So... I'm not sure if they've implemented it that way here in GTA. Didn't keep a lot of momentum there, so we're really counting on all this torque. The torque does appear to be massive. It even survived me looking to the side, which is usually when things go wrong. All right, that was a little too much torque. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, goodness. Okay. Can the torque save us? Okay, it did, but we're gonna, I feel like we're gonna have to be really careful here because it is really bouncy and skittish and tends to eat itself randomly. It tends to yeet. Like at first I thought, hey, I'm going to jump right up to the next thing. And then it was like over. And like, whoa, here we go. A little too much yeet. We should call it the yeet mobile. Yeet! Oh dear. How far do we eat? That was pretty darn perfect. Okay. It seems like it'll get itself out of trouble, but you can also get it into trouble really easily. Itself. 
Okay, so now we're, we're ready for the yeet turn here, but I, I have a sense it's not going to go where I want it to. I'm not using the gas at all here. We're just going to just follow one ridge to it. Oh dear, here we go. We got it hit bumps and now it's yeeting. It's tending to yeet. That was a lot of yeet. I didn't expect it to explode. This thing's got armor. Well, thankfully this isn't an actual G Fred because then I'd be in a bicycle. But stop, 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 stop. Alright, well this is just not going well. It's This is obviously a training tool and not anything more than that. So we're just going to see if we can get this thing down in the proper way. So it appears to have some kind of weak point where if you hit it, it just goes boom. That's terribly ironic when you consider what happened to the, uh, the Rimac one that <coughs> was driven by. Richard Hammond. Let me take it more off to the left here. Wow, I wasn't even using the gas. It just tends to fly. Did they make the car this way because of what happened to Richard Hammond? Google Richard Hammond Remac 1. You, you'll see. Yeet! Oh dear! It didn't explode there. I thought it was going to go boom. I really did. It's the train! Yeah. Can we fit? I think we can fit. Thankfully he didn't die. That's all I'm going to say. On my main character, I have a Rimac one that's, that's painted up. I have, a, I have a Cyclone that's done to look as much like his car as I could make it. Couldn't do it exactly. Or at least I wasn't able to. Maybe you could. Maybe there's a way. Thinking not, but... Okay. It should do pretty well with this next part. Although, I mean, with the bounces that's going to find, you know, there may be a lot more yeeting, but none of it should be fatal. I would guess. Like, this is going to be a yeet. Yeet! Glad it didn't explode, because that would put us back to the top of Shiliad. It really does just float. <laughs> it does not like the off-roadiness of any of it. I feel like I can probably make that jump better than I did. I think it might have hit a bounce before the jump and then floated over it. That's floaty. I have to watch the video back again. Whee! Float, 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 bang. Oh. And there you have it, folks. It's a bit wild and floaty. But if you get this, you should be able to work with it. You may die a few times. Again, this is only applicable in a Project Homecoming 5M kind of g Fred situation where they may put that in the traffic, but you're not going to see it in the traffic in GTA, probably. 
And there you have it, my little video on winning and driving the Cyclone. And that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.